Hi everyone, this is Matthew Park and um, this is my final project for CSC 105. For my project, um, I will be installing um, dependencies for Geckos and um, Gecko software itself and I will be building my own Gecko strategies to um, create my own trading bot. So let's get started. Um, first, um, there are a very useful documentation that kind of runs you through how to install Gecko on Raspberry Pi, but I'm using Pi 4 and this soft, this um, tutorial is kind of outdated, so we would have to change some of the versions such as Node.js and um, some of the package might not work correctly. So um, there was some additional research I had to do to complete this process. But after everything um, is installed and got started, um, you can run the UI by um, this command. First, you have to be in Gecko directory. So you would do cd slash um, gecko. But I'm already in Gecko directory, so I don't have to change my directory. And the command to run Gecko UI is um, this node gecko UI and then now the gecko is hosted in your local server and you can run this in your browser and as you can see now the gecko um, UI is up and running um, and here there's various options like a live gecko here where you can trade um, your cryptocurrency of your choosing um, live and here you can back test your trading strategy um, from a historical data. So what I first did was I imported historical last three months of Bitcoin data to Gecko UI, which you can do in um, local data, uh, um, import data, and then you would choose your um, trading platform that you would like to see the um, price move, um, the, the price of the last three months of in my case, Bitcoin to US dollar. And from after that, um, you can choose different trading strategy. And there are some good default trading strategies out here, but I wanted to create my own strategy to um, um, trade Bitcoin in this case. So what I did was um, to create a strategy using um, exponential moving average called EMA. And this is one of the popular um, trading strategy here's some there's an article that talks about um moving average and different type of moving average but in my case i'll be using exponential moving average for this tutorial uh, for this um, project so the idea of estimated moving average and using this as a trading signal to buy and sell bitcoin is to see when these two lines are crossing and as you can see, there's a fast moving average, which I set it up to as 10 day. And then the, and then there's like kind of fast one. So this, we will be using just this too. So we'll be looking at 10 day and 21 day. And then 10 day is yellow and 21 day is blue. So as you can see, as the fast moving average is going below the slower moving average, the price tends to drop. And when the um, fast moving average goes above the the trading, um, the slower moving average, the trend tends to go up. So this is some of the patterns you can use to trade Bitcoin to make some profit. So having this in mind, we will be going to our um, trading strategy. So first thing I had to do is to create my own strategy and I called it moon.js and I saved this into the Gecko strategy directory right here. And after that, um, there is a template that you can use, but I did some, I did a lot of modification to it. So if you go to the documentation, there is um, strategies, introduction, and I believe creating strategy. And here is a basic template. And here, and so this is what I did. So first, um, I used the Tulip indicator, which is a um, it's an additional indicator you can install into Gecko, and you would have to go through these process down here. 
and then the, it this gives us a lot more options of indicators that you can use within Gecko. And then here, I am using EMA. So this estimated movement average. Already. This is how our exponential moving average is calculated, and um, it also tells us um, what have some of the documentation on how to use um, this indicator in our trading strategy. So here um, I created um, EMA 10 variable, EMA 20 variable, and then um, I so so here normally we can type in 10 on 20, but I didn't want this to be fixated on just 10 day or 21 day because what we do in trading is that you can change its parameters to get the best result for a certain type of market. So when it's going up, we call it bull market, and you might use a different um, day period to get the best result. So I did that here by adding this setting fast. And this, if you just run this in command line, so let's kill this. And, and if we do uh, node, so now this is kind of showing how each buy and sell is running. So what's happening here is in config.js, um, this is another file that I created from the home gecko directory called config.js, right? Uh, where did it go? Here. And I used a um, sample config.js to create my own config.js. Then the exchange is Binance, like I specified, and um, currency SAT to asset BTC. And then I named my um, the trading strategy moon. So the config, I, I created a new line here, the config.moon, and then we gave them a very, um, a fast as 10 and slow as 21 and then added a percent which I'll explain later. So what is happening here it now this setting fast this fast is coming this number is coming from this um, config.js file. So when we run config.js file as a back test we can um, run this moon trading strategy. And then here we can see that it bought and sold on this time for this price and etc. And you can see here that we have made profit of 6% while the market actually only increased in 1%. So we made a 5% extra profit that you could have made from trading, live trading rather than just letting the Bitcoin sit. Um, so I will kind of go through this code. Um, here it is showing like it's the fast is the the fast number, the fast um, day uh, ex exponential moving average, and then slow is the slow exponential moving average. So we basically sold at this price, bought at this price, and yeah, and we can go back. So I use a historical three two months of data, and uh, yeah, right. I shut down Gecko. Let me run gecko run so no. mm -hmm. okay. So first what we had to do is uh, like I said imported data and then we are using that import data to back test here to see how we how the trading strategy has performed. So after after adding in the slow and fast, we wanted to buy and sell. So in trading, we call long as buying and short is to sell. But I coded it so that as the estimated the fast moving average goes above the slow moving average, this will buy. However, when we will have a trading stop, 
when the trail percentage, which is the percentage I added here, increase uh, goes, so the part the price of the Bitcoin goes ten percent below the price that you purchased from. So when that happens, we will this will trigger like emergency sell, so that you wouldn't lose all your money in this case. So this is kind of like a safety mechanism, just in case like you if you if there's a huge dip in market, you will sell it before all the assets goes to like 50% decrease or something like that. So we can, and I also want to adjust this percentage because 10% is a big number. So maybe you want to decrease to 5% or 7%, or maybe you want to be risky and go 50%. That is up to me. And so when we're running from um, here on the command prompt or the terminal, we are running the config.js file. But now we don't want to be doing this in um, terminal because that's a lot of text and it's not very user friendly. So that's why there's UI. So now the UI, in the UI, we can do a back test. And then this moon.js is within the strategy folder, so we can view it here. But to Every time the UI is running this strategy, they are building their own config.js file. So to give them this parameter that we added here, instead of hard coding 10 and 20, um, we have to give this value in summer. So we create a moon.tomol file within, um, within the strategy. No. Config, config, strategies, and then here we can give them specific parameters. So here I created my own. Where did it go? Here, my own strategies um, parameter here, and now when we run from Gecko UI. It shows us the parameters that I have entered here. And then now we can in the UI we can uh, make this adjustment ourselves. So we can say I want to do it like five percent or something like that. But to um, okay, let's change this to five percent. And then we to run this faster. We'll change it to days. And then we don't need one more period because we're using historical data. And then if we choose Play. Oh yeah, we have to add the data. Then here, Binance, we are using this month. So the import importing data takes a while for Raspberry Pi. It could be my network connection, but it took me about a day. And then this is a two months worth of um, trading data. Then now we'll be back testing our strategies um, with moving average fast of 10 day to slow 21 day with um, 5% if there's a 5% because we will sell them all and then we'll rebuy them whenever it's um, indicator is suggesting it's the best time. So now back test. Now we can see on the on there we're running the back test. There's no error, that's good. Oh. So here now we can see that we made 10% profit, a simulated profit, and while the moving went down negative 0.4%. So this strategy is somewhat effective. You could probably get a better result um, adding additional indicators. Um, you don't have to just fix with one um, indicator like AMA. We can um, use different indicators like RSI or um, HMOVO Cloud or whatever indicator that you prefer. And yeah, so this is my project. As you can see, it bought at this price, sold at that price, because it probably decreased 10% or the moving average um, MACD, um, the EMA crossed here. And then we bought, sold, bought, sold, bought, sold. And this is not, this part is not performing very well because it's just exponential drop. But we here, we bought here, sold here, bought here, sold here, bought here, 
sold here, bought here, sold here. So as you can see, this um, is this strategy has worked somewhat effectively. Made some large gains here, made some smaller loss. So definitely, this um, strategy needs some additional work, but uh, this is more of like a test to see if I can get create my own strategy and get it running. So thank you for listening. This is um, this is my trading bot project, and if you run this um, trading strategy on live right now, I can. Can run it if I want to, but um, this requires real money. While the fact that it's more of like a fake, a pay fake money, so um, I will have to do some additional coding and research before I actually run my run the real test. So thank you for listening in, and hope you enjoyed my project. Thank you.